Hi guys, how are you? It is that time again. We are back again to do a twin flame reading for you. Thank you for checking us out. We are Twin Oracles here on YouTube. We're grateful to have you here today. Thank you for liking this video, for sharing. Thank you for subscribing to Twin Oracles and for hitting that bell. That way you don't lose our channel and you're advised of all of our upcoming uploads. Well then, with that being said, let's hop on in. Today we will be conducting your Twin Flame reading with the Soulless Divinity Tarot and we'll be clarifying with the Intuit Twin Flame Oracle deck. We hope you enjoy. It will be a general reading. Therefore, take from it what resonates and leave what does not. It is not a personal reading. Therefore, your intuition must and should always take precedency over what you are hearing. All right. God, Source, Spirit, Higher Self, thank you, Universe, for all of the blessings that you bestow upon us, ones that we are aware of and ones that we are not aware of. Thank you for big and small. We are grateful for them all. Thank you for the simple things in life. Thank you for family, friends. Thank you for our loved ones that surround us. Thank you for our health, the air that we breathe. Thank you for waking up and taking our first breath this morning again. Not everyone did. So thank you for our lives. Thank you for the food on our table and the roof under which we live. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us hop on in. What is going on with you and your Twin Flame Collective? This will also be a timeless reading, meaning whenever this video finds you, it does not matter whether it's today, tomorrow, four years from now, have faith and trust that when this video finds you, that's when it will most resonate with you. If you hear me say he, she, you, they, it, change and reverse the roles if and when and where need be. What is going on with our collective and their twin flames? Are you in union? Are you in contact? Are you in separation? What is going on with our collective and their twin flames? All right. Wow. All right. So this is a very strong card to start your reading with, okay? It is the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands can sometimes represent uh, Cupid's arrows, okay? The Eight of Wands uh, represents communication. It represents moving. So perhaps, um, you know, your twin flame is wanting to communicate to you or move towards you whether you have met or not okay it could be from us at a cellular level or a soul level maybe they feel this needs to come towards you okay if you've already met your twin flame in the past and things did not work out perhaps they're wanting to come back in and to communicate with you it can also represent distance so there could be distance between you and this person as well what is going on with our collective and their twin flames? What is going on? Thank you. All right. So again, there could be distance. Um, the six of swords, it can represent travel as well. Um, it represents, you know, asking for guidance or accepting guidance um you know accepting what you need when you need it if someone's especially asking to help you you are being guided here you are being led this is leaving the hardships behind you and moving on to um smoother waters clearer waters much calmer waters okay um you have what you need here you have the strength and the guidance that you need you could be entering a rite of passage or some form of initiation here. For some of you, you could be getting communication that someone wants to take you on vacation somewhere with the Eight of Swords, sorry, the Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords here. Someone may be wanting to communicate with you that they have left someone behind and that they want to move on with you and move forward with you. So you could have met your twin flame in the past and they're coming in to communicate to you, you know, perhaps why they ghosted you or why things didn't work out then. They had to leave someone behind and maybe now they're leaving someone behind and they're able to move on forward with you. Next, you have justice. So 
This person could have left a karmic behind, um, a karmic partner, you know, a false twin. They could have left this person behind. And now they're moving towards you, which is much more balanced. Um, some of you could be a Libra that I'm speaking with. Others could be a Leo. It doesn't have to be. Um, but, you know, you're moving in the direction of a much more balanced livelihood. And so is this person. This person wants to move towards a life that is more truthful, honest, open communication, balanced. Um, it just feels much better and peaceful. Okay. It feels as though if this person was with a karmic in the past, it was very chaotic, it was very narcissistic, it was very one-sided. This person went through a lot if they, you know, did come out of a karmic relationship here. Next, you have um, the magician. The magician talks about, you know, cr you being the creator and making your reality manifest as you wish it and will it into being okay the magician speaks of um having everything that you need and require to create whatever it is you would like to create this is manifesting heaven on earth okay um you this person or you reverse the roles if need be where need be but you or this person, you and this person, however it works for you, you're wanting to create a new version of reality for yourselves and with each other, okay? It feels like you're both longing and searching for the same thing. Peace, commitment, truth, honesty, integrity, loyalty, Okay, it also feels as though someone, I, I, now I'm picking up on um, a honeymoon and I'm also picking up on a destination wedding. I'm definitely picking up on a destination wedding. That is quite strong. Um, so congratulations to those of you that are going on a destination wedding for yourselves or attending one, that's awesome. Um, what else here? I feel whatever is happening here, wherever you're being led and guided, it feels right. It's the right thing, it's the right time, and the time is ripe as well, is divine timing. It's like, this is what you've been waiting for. And for some of you and for most of you, this is what you've been waiting your whole life for. Okay? Comment down below, what is this? What is it that you have been waiting for here? Is it creating a better life for yourself? Is it creating your twin flame is it the destination wedding like what what is it here because it can be just about anything it's whatever makes you feel whole balanced and complete and your cup being full there's too many all right please clarify this reading thank you right that's this right here so you got a card from the mission. We are alchemists. We transform fear into love and shadow into light. And you, you can see here, the power is within her hands, just as it is here within the magician. Okay? So you have everything that you need. You have everything that you require to create what you want to create. And it feels as though you and your twin flame are coming together because you have a very high mission here on earth to help humanity to serve humanity okay and you're both alchemists and you're both able to transmute emotions okay you're able to transmute emotions and your energy alone you walk into a room and your energy alone heals your energy alone um both of you you transform and transmute you know sadness into happiness um you know sadness into joy and you help guide others. You're both here to illuminate humanity and to help humanity and to guide others. You're doing this together. You're moving together. You're meant to do and be together. This is beautiful. I'm seeing this as a soul mission here together. Both of you. You're finally living your life purpose. You're walking your life path. 
I feel like you're learning some kind of knowledge. Um, one or one of you, I feel, is studying to be a judge or a lawyer. It feels as though. Too many cards. Thank you. Telepathic. I feel you pulling away and it triggers my fears that you'll leave me for good. So that could be the Six of Swords feeling here. It feels as though someone's moving on, but they're not moving away, they're moving on, okay? They're moving on from something or someone that no longer serves them. And perhaps because you're an empath and you're very sensitive yourself, maybe you feel as though that they're moving on from you, but they're not. They're moving on from someone or something from the past, moving on towards you, okay? And you don't know about this yet because it's like they haven't communicated this to you. You feel energetically in a telepathic realm, you feel that your twin flame is leaving someone and you feel that they're leaving you, but they're not. They're leaving their karmic behind. When our conversations are lighthearted and playful, it eases the tension that is sometimes there when we talk. So that's the communication here. There's going to be some kind of communication that comes in. If, if you're feeling energetically on a cellular level that your twin flame is leaving someone, you're probably getting confused feeling that they're leaving you, but they're not. They're leaving their karmic. And you're going to receive communication from them that's going to let you know this. And it's going to take the pressure off. It's going to be like, ah, it's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel like, oh, that's what that was that I was feeling. They're leaving someone else, not me. Right? So it's going to take the pressure off, like a pressure cooker, and then you remove the lid. They're going to communicate with you, and then you're going to understand what's going on. But right now, you're feeling something. Telepathically, energetically, you're feeling something. But it's not what you're feeling. Or, sorry, it's not what you think. One more card, please. I'm realizing this connection is something special and worth treasuring. And you have card number 11, growth. So, you know what's interesting? Justice is 11. Justice is number 11. And you have another number 11. This is 1111. This is your justice coming in for you, your just dessert. This is you being blessed, being with your twin flame. 1111. Balance is restored because you and your twin flame are finally coming into union here. This is clear, this is beautiful, this is wonderful. I am so, so very happy for you. This is beautiful. And you really fee feel each other so deep on a cellular level. You have been definitely waiting for each other. And I again, I'm picking up elope, like eloping, but I'm also picking up honeymoon. I'm also picking up um, having that destination wedding. You're so very much connected that you feel each other, whether you're together or separate. It's such a connection that it can never be lost. It's like your union, you feel it through energy form. So even when you're not together, you still feel each other. So someone is leaving someone behind, it feels, and they're going to communicate that with you. You feel like someone is leaving someone behind. You feel like your twin flame is leaving someone behind, but your mind is telling you they're leaving you behind. They're going to communicate with you shortly to let you know that is not the case. This is 11-11 here. This is your twin flame coming in with you. Your union is happening magically. You're both on a soul mission, soul purpose, soul path here on earth to help humanity for yourselves to ascend and then to help humanity ascend as well. You're both alchemists, you're both magicians, you're both able to transform and transfu transform and transmute energies, turning one thing into another. So this is beautiful. I love this energy. I can sit in this energy all day. I'm so happy to have read this um, this reading for you. I'm, I love this. Comment down below. Let us know how this resonates. It feels as though you and your twin are a match. You both have uh, spiritual gifts that are very powerful, very strong, and here to help humanity. So it's very beautiful. I'm so happy to hear all this pans out. Please comment down below and let us know how this does pan out. We love reading all your comments. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing to Twin Oracles. If you want to hear more of these readings, let us know. Comment down below. 
We love you very, very much. Until the next time, good luck with you and your twin flame. We are so very happy for you both. Mwah. Bye.